What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you about the coolest reel and it's under 50 bucks, okay? And it's I've got it set up on a blue rod and it just so happens to have red handles and it's a white reel. So I got that red, white, and blue rocking right now. That's pretty awesome. So along with American colors, what's more American than a cat with American flag shades on? Yeah, the Cast King White Max. It's a 5.3 to 1 gear ratio bait casting reel and it retails for under $50 on Amazon. I think it is the best reel for under 50 bucks that you can find anywhere. This thing is pretty cool. And I've put it through quite a bit of testing. I don't know if you can see it, but I've banged the crap out of it. I've, there have been days where this is all I use. I've caught some big, big fish on it already, including uh, the big drum that was in one of my last videos, um, a couple catfish on accident, and a whole lot of big bass. I mean, a ton. This thing is how I've been catching most of my fish. I've been using this reel almost exclusively the whole the whole time I've had it the past it's it's been a while and I've really enjoyed it. So let's dive in and talk about this reel and look at some pictures up close and then we'll come back here and talk about it some more. The Cast King White Max features 11 plus 1 anti-corrosion shielded bearings and a stainless steel main shaft. It is a lightweight, low-profile baitcaster with a very sleek design. It has a high-performance cross-drilled aluminum spool, instant anti-reverse with a carbon drag system, non-slip ergonomic handle grip, which I happen to really like, and it's available in right and left-handed models. So now that you know a little bit about it, let's talk about my impressions of it, my first impressions, and my full review. Um, when I first saw it, I wasn't really sure how it would be because it, it's under 50 bucks. A lot of people, they think about quality, they think about a high price. And with casking reels, that's not, that's not the way it works. Okay, you can have quality and an affordable price, and casking prides himself on that. And I pride myself as being a part of that because I'm a high school guy. I'm, well, I just graduated high school. But I don't have exactly a ton of money to buy these $300 reels. And whenever I can get a reel that is just as good for under 50 bucks, I'm going to go do it. I was really curious to see what it felt like, how smooth it was. All the casking reels are smooth. But this is one of the cheapest ones, if not, it's, I think it's the second cheapest one or third cheapest one that they sell. And I was kind of curious to see, you know, would it have that same quality. And in my opinion, this reel is the smoothest one out of the whole lineup. The Speed Demon is extremely smooth. The Royal Legend, the Assassin, all of them are really nice. I mean, they're nicer than some of the $150 reels on the market. And this one... I think this is my favorite one. This one is awesome. I'm kind of biased because I crank a lot, and this is an absolutely fantastic cranking reel. It's made pretty much for that. So that might have something to do with it. But the fact is, I'm using this reel 99% of the time now, especially cranking, and this thing is awesome. With line on it, when I put line on it, it felt like it got even smoother, and I'm not sure how that works out. I don't know anything about reels. I'm not a reel expert. But I do know what I like, and I was already happy whenever I got it out and was playing with it. But when I put line on it and it felt even smoother than that, that was awesome. Something else I wasn't so sure about was the drag system. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit lighter than a lot of the reels I've had. And with this thing, it's not, it's not an issue at all. I mean, I caught that big drum on it. I don't know. I might have a picture of it and throw it up. I don't know if I have one or not. But it was in the video, and I had this rod, and I was using it with this reel. It was... The drag system in this is really good. I haven't had any problems. I mean, the biggest bass I think that I'll catch all year will be like maybe an 8 or a 9 pounder. And really, that, that, uh, that drum was a lot a lot bigger than that and I didn't have any issues at all 
So I'm really, I'm really, really happy about this reel. I love this reel, and I'd like to get two or three more and add it to my arsenal because they're just, this is my favorite reel. I love this thing. Plus it's got freaking red, white, and I put a blue rod on it. What more could you ask for? That's awesome. Um, I've been using a whole lot of crankbaits, um, deep divers, shallow divers. I put my square bills on it. I put everything on this reel, okay, and this rod. I wish I had another rod. That's why I want to get more reels and have like a specific cranking rod and like a moderate depth of cranking rod for all that. But as you saw in my MTV video, MTB video, and what's on right now, I've been using it for top water. Um, I even use it for finesse stuff. Um, I'll apply a drop shot on this just fine, as I also said in my MTV video. Because whenever you think about it, most spinning reels are pretty slow gear ratio. Okay, they don't pick up exactly a ton of line. But this reel is a five, uh, five point three to one. Yeah, and it picks up more than your most spinning reels. So it's still it's still fast enough. It's faster than most spinning reels. And usually, when you think of finesse stuff, you're using a spinning reel a lot of the time. I don't like to do that, and I'd rather not do that, but I am going to get a Cast King spinning reel for my spinning rod, because if if their spinning reels are even half as good as their baitcasters, then I'm not going to mind fishing with a spinning rod ever. This is a cranking reel to me, so I've been using lighter line, um, 10, 12, right now I have 15 on just because I had top water. It, it's, it is what it is. And it does just fine with all of it. Um, I haven't found anything that I don't like to put on this reel. Um, I'm not going to use braid on it. There's no reason for me to put braid on it. I don't crank with braid. Some people do. I'm not like that. Um, as far as top water, it's always going to be like treble hook baits. So you don't really want... I don't like using braid. Some people like using braid for that. It's just, it's up to you. If you guys are on the market for a really good cranking reel, and you want to feel somewhat patriotic, check out the Cast King White Max. It's on Amazon. Um, you can find them on eBay too, I believe. I haven't found anything I don't actually like. And I've, I've tested this thing hard. So I'm all about affordability, being young and all that. And this thing is definitely affordable. And you'll just ha you'll have to try it to understand what I mean. This thing is pretty cool. I'm, I'm in love with this reel. And I'm, it takes me a lot to actually like something. Especially in fishing, because I'm kind of picky. But all my casking stuff I've been really happy with. And so far, this is my favorite one. But I, I'm in love with the Speed Demon, and I'm in love with the Assassin. So, one thank you guys for watching. I'll see you right here next time on Kenner Arnold Fishing. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and press the little bell to get the notifications, because we're pumping out some stuff. Got some different stuff coming. Um, multi-species stuff is what I'm working on right now. So that'll be up in a day or two. And uh, yeah. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you right here next time.